CERN is a company that is specially focused on women's health. And with me is the chief medical officer, Dr. Melanie Santos, to explain the company and your key products. So, Melanie, let's just give me an overall uh, view of what CERN is all about. Absolutely. So personally, as a physician, um, I take care of women and have found women to just really struggle with vaginal infections. In fact, millions of women struggle with this. There are different um, types of infections and things like bacteria vaginosis, almost 22 million suffer from this. And with yeast infections, uh, several million as well. I mean, almost the whole majority of women have had at least one yeast infection. And so to treat this constantly and constant antibiotics, constant medications really is frustrating for women. And many women really want to seek alternative treatments. Not everyone is under a physician's care because of this. They just don't want all these drugs. And then there's also women who can't take those drugs for different reasons, such as they're immunocompromised from things like cancer or pregnant women. And so what we have found is a way to fulfill that unmet need with a non-medication treatment for these infections that millions of women suffer from. Okay. And we were able to use a light source. It's a microbicidal light source that kills these bacteria and fungus to help keep balance without any antibiotics or treatments. Okay. Well, and I know there's some side effects to the antibiotics as well that aren't so fun. So I, I can see why people are looking, you know, for some alternatives. So explain how this works. This is a device that you've invented, right? The company has invented. So explain how it works. So we use a visible light source that actually changes the bacteria and the, and the fungus that you're trying to kill. Basically, it makes it hard to reproduce so it won't flourish. And so it's not killing things, which can then cause resistance. We probably have seen this with the pandemic today when we get resistance and things mutate and change. And so then it gets harder and harder to treat it. And with this way, we just stop that so it won't mutate, it won't change. You just kill what you're trying to treat. And with this level of light source, we have found it doesn't damage our own good bacteria, nor our, our skin cells. Yeah. So it's minimal problems and damage. We don't get that resistance and we treat women safely and effectively. Okay. And, and is this device available now? Not quite yet. We okay. are still in development, um, but we are on the, on the way. Mm -hmm. So then how does that work? Does it go to the FDA for approval then eventually? Like what is the process? Yes. So we have completed our studies, our animal studies, and we are getting together our clinical studies. And then once we have those completed, it goes to the FDA for approval. Mm -hmm. And how big of a market is it? You mentioned that so many women have experienced this. I mean, this must be a huge market. Absolutely. So just think of all the women in the country. We'll just we'll just focus on the United States for now. It's a simple simpler thing to con conceive. Seventy eight percent of those women have had at least one yeast infection, and then twenty two million of those women have had bacteria vaginosis. So these are huge numbers of women in this country who are not only experiencing these infections, but recurrence of these infections. So it's a huge market. Yeah. And, you know, it's interesting because it seems to me like the treatment uh, for this has been the same for like decades, right? I mean, there really isn't a lot of innovation going on. You're one of the first companies to do something different in this area. Absolutely. The treatments really are smaller. There's really more derivatives of what, of what antifungal you'll use, of what antibiotic you will use. There isn't any non-medical therapy that's really been useful and effective. So super excited about it. Yeah. And then you mentioned the U.S., but um, I hear so much about globally women and um, health issues, um, you know, particularly in like third world countries. So might this be something that would go overseas eventually? This could go everywhere. I mean, there's women everywhere, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay. Well, thank you so much, um, Dr. Santos, for joining us and explaining that. And please keep us updated as this will someday reach physicians' offices and we can let women know that it exists. Absolutely. Thanks for having me, Jane. Thank you.